There we have it. People are getting in here. Well, come on in. It's Monday morning. And I'm going to say the day of the week every time I do a show because when you're staying at home, that sort of tends to, you forget what day of the week it is. <laughs> Robert says I tend to lose my mind every single day, so it really doesn't matter. But, yep, it is Monday morning, bright and shiny outside. My dogwood tree is about to ready to pop out in blooms. You know, right along with Easter week, I just love dogwoods. I remember, um, I remember when I was little, and I don't think Dina was born yet, but we were going to Granny Pickard's for Easter Sunday, and <clears throat> through the woods to get to her house, it was a gravel road, and the dogwoods were blooming down in the woods, and they were they were pink dogwoods. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. I, I mean, I was probably only like five or six years old. So I think Dina was was in mommy's tummy. So because <laughs> we had a car accident and we hit somebody coming over a hill. Anyway, so it's Monday. We're going to do our weekly home blessing. But first, we have a checklist. Is your bed made? This is what we're going to do. Is your bed made? Have you swish and swiped your bathroom? Are you dressed to lace up shoes? Have you put in a load of laundry? Do you know what's for dinner tonight? And we got to declutter a little bit. Well, people are saying my hair looks nice. I washed it this morning and sprayed it with my witch hazel hairspray which i can't stand how it feels just can't stand it but anyway i've sprayed it pretty stiff so it doesn't blow in my and um doesn't get in my eyes now here swish and swipe swish and swipe is how you clean your bathroom every day it takes 30 seconds it takes me longer to tell you how to do it than it does to actually do it so swishing and swiping is you wipe down your bathroom mirror. You use a wonderful purple rag to do that. This is the one I made into a mask. Um, use a purple rag to do that. Wipe down your counters. Wipe out your sink. Then wipe down your toilet seat and you take your toilet bowl brush. Let me get my magic wand out of here. You grab your toilet bowl brush and you switch the toilet. And everything goes down the drain, even if you don't have any soap in on it, it still swishes the toilet. But keeping a little soap, soap is soap. So if you have some old shampoos, some old um, body washes that you really didn't like that are taking up space in your pantry, fill it up with water. You know, if you've got this much soap in your container, fill it up with that much water. Shake it real good. It's a 50-50 solution. And bam, you have swish, soap is soap to clean your toilet. And you don't even need those expensive toilet bowl cleaners. You can do it. So today is Weekly Home Blessing. We're going to do... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our sheets off our bed and put them in the laundry. Can't find, there's change sheets. So we're going to grab our sheets. Oh, that's upside down. We're going to change our sheets. So everybody grab your sheets off your bed. Let's get that done while I'm talking for two minutes. Now, our Ask Fly Lady questions all this week are going to be about the basics of staying at home. The basics of staying at home. And... <laughs> A lot of you aren't used to it. You think you have to do everything. And, you know, that's not really the case. Justin was talking about this morning. He wants to do some videos for, for the husbands out there. Because he's worried about the women, our fly babies. He's worried about them having 
to take on all of the cooking themselves. And he said, I can teach the guys how to cook, Mom, because you taught me how to cook. And so he's he's going to do some videos on how to take some burden off of your wives and we'll be posting them and you can share them. Just simple little meal plans that your husbands can help with to give you a break like on Sundays or on the weekends even. So I think this will be wonderful. And I said, go for it, son. Go for it. And we'll, we'll help teach the husbands how to how to be a part of it because it'll be one guy talking to another. It won't be fly lady talking to him. It'll be my son talking to him. So, so get your morning routine done. We've done our, we got like 20 more seconds on our taking our sheets off our bed. Let's get them in the laundry and then you put them on later. Yeah. Justin can teach, teach you how to grill. So I'm going to take a drink of coffee because I really need to finish my coffee. It's a good thing I can drink coffee cold. Okay. I have my trusty little die that Robert made me. And we're going to roll it. It's number one. What is number one? We're going to grab our carpet sweepers or our vacuum cleaners. Here's our carpet sweeper, folks. This is an amazing tool. If you don't have one, you should get one. Get you a carpet sweeper because they, they get the vacuuming done and it's quiet in case somebody's having to sleep. Our baby's sleeping. <clears throat> Ready, set, go. We won't put any music on with this because it's hard to hear over a vacuum cleaner, but it's not hard to hear. Well, maybe I will play some music. Let's see what I can do. Oh, oh, uh, that was, that was just uncalled for here. Let's see. Since Leanne and I are starting the, uh, the hot melt sprint this week. I'm going to play the veggie blues. Ready? Here we go. This is a great song. While you're vacuuming. This little, little symbol there. I was sitting at the table just poking at my plate. That my veggies could change the chocolate cake. Yeah, but then I saw something that chilled me to the bone. My spirit started singing into a microphone. And he said, Hey, kid, you better be careful the way that you're broken at me. Don't you know that I'm the one who keeps you strong and healthy? Strong is when you get your body view. The fruits and veggies, too. You're gonna have the strength to do the things you want. And asparagus was gone. I'll dish the sweets and choose a peach. She'd help me from now on. So pass me some tomatoes or toss in apple, please. Don't forget the broccoli, how I love those baby trees. Remember, hey, kids, you better be careful the way that you're poking at me. Don't you know that I'm the one who keeps you strong and healthy?
Okay, that was Andy Dodd singing the Veggie Blues. Okay, let's roll the dice. Let's do something else. We've done our vacuuming. Where did I put that? I'm going to put that right there. Here we go. Number three. What is number three? Two. There's three. This is our favorite. Because it lets the sun shine in. Grab a purple rag that's wet and one that's dry. And let's clean our windows and let the sun shine in. Because we all need some good sunbeams. Ready? Just two minutes. I think we'll do the two-minute cleanup song. Where is it? Oh. Well, I don't know what that is. Launchpad song. Swing for tomorrow's thrilling flight. Hey, Lisa, get up. No lazy today. Nope, no, nope, we're not lazy. You're just not motivated. Get up and let's get going. You can do it, Lisa. Put your shoes on. Can't never could do anything. Y'all get up. No depression here. We're going to get up and do something. We're doing our windows. Uh, that song will get you up and going. Even though we're maybe not doing launch. What, 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 we're not doing Toy Box Tango. I got the dice. We're going to roll it again. We got four blessings left. Number five. And number five is grab your Fly Lady Mops. We have a brand new one. Have you seen our big purple mop? It's purple. It's shiny. Look at this. It's it could have sequins on it. It's so cute. <laughs> and let's let's mop our floors. I gotta get a lead weight for my basket. Anyway, let's see. Let's do two minutes. And I think I'm gonna do a good deed doer. Yep. Getting our floors clean for our babies is a good thing. Ready? Set go. I saw him 
him standing there, sad look in his eye. The kids ran to the playground, but each one passed him by. He was just a new kid here, then I saw his face. Mama's words raced through my mind. He was like I heard her say, Be a good teacher and do it every day. One kind deed will go so far to make this world a better place. Be a good teacher and you may be surprised. Doing good to others makes you feel so good inside. Sparkle and a smile across his face. He's not a stranger anymore. Now he is my friend. My life has been better. All because my mama said, Be a good teacher and do it every day. One kind deed will go so far to make this world a better place. Be a good teacher and you may be surprised. Doing good to others makes you feel so good inside. There's our timer. Okay. That was mopping. I bet y'all did a lot of dancing with that mopping. Here we go. Number three. We've already done number three. We got number one. We've already done number one. That's one again. Uh-oh, that one. Number four. Here we got it. Okay, if you if you don't have any magazines or catalogs, I want you to address a hotspot. We're going to put out those hotspots, declutter some magazines, clean off a hotspot. Ready? We're going to do the two minute cleanup song. This you can get your kids involved with. This this was made for the children. So here we go. Let me find the two minute cleanup song. Where is two minute cleanup? Ready, set, go. This song makes me happy. Hey, it's clean up. Decluttered magazines, catalogs, and hotspots. Mm-hmm. 
How fun is that? Yep, get your kids involved. So let's roll the dice. Number two. And that is run around the house and gather up all your trash to go to the trash can. Got it? And take, you got your shoes on? So let's run around the house and gather up all the trash. And while that's going on, I'm not going to um, play a song right now. I'm going to talk to you about, because I've been seeing a lot of this come across on the comments. People are, are feeling a little depressed. Yep, I know you are. Because... You know, you feel yourself just closing in, the walls closing in on you. Well, this is why we need to get outside and we need to get some sunbeams. Sunbeams are happy things and they make us happy. We need to practice putting a smile on your face. Do not give in to depression. Do not do it. Don't say, I'm totally depressed. No, you are not. We're going to get out of this. So I am happy. I am strong. Let's do the I am's. <laughs> well, that's one of the things. That's why we're doing the hot melt sprint this week. Because we've gotten back into our fat clothes. So trying is lying, folks. Trying is lying. You have to get up and do something. You can't wallow in self-pity because... After all, everybody, we're all in the same boat. We're all stuck at home. And you cannot give in to this depression. We are all stuck at home. This is why we have to put on some fun music. That's why the pastor yesterday said, don't read. Don't listen to the news all day. That does nothing but bring you down. Put on some fun music. You be in control of what is going into your head, not the talking heads on TV. Let's shut that down and let's build ourselves up with wonderful things, funny things. Watch funny movies. Watch uplifting, uplifting stories. The Hallmark Channel. That's good. Somebody said, not stuck at home, safe at home. That's true. And when we have to wear our mask, when we go out into the public, we're wearing our mask to bless other people. We bless them because we're covering our faces because this becomes our perpetual handkerchief. Yep, our perpetual hanky right here. Here you go. That's what it is. I think I can make a mask out of a pink rag easier than I can a purple rag. And that's more like us, isn't it? So I think I'll work on making a mask out of a pink rag. So let's let go of feeling down. And, you know, when we give in to that. So let's build a happiness list. So what's the first thing you want to do when you don't, feel like doing anything. Go get dressed to lace up shoes. Fix your hair and your face. Put some makeup on and let's get out of this feeling. That's the first thing I had to do when I was depressed was I had to, had to, um, they gave me a makeover. So give yourself a makeover. Let's give ourselves a makeover. Let's get the feeling better. Now we have one more, one more tile and I'm going to continue to talk to you. 
I want you to grab your fe feather dusters. Feather dusters. I may have to play a song and then talk to you later. So grab your feather dusters. Remember, we do not shake them with the wind blowing in our face. We, blew, we, wait, we stick our arm out the door and we shake it. And the wind's blowing the dust away because all that dust has been in your house. Let me see where we're going to go. Where's my feather dusters? So long dust samba. This is a real samba, y'all. We should learn how to dance. We should learn how to do a samba. I'll have to I'll have to YouTube that. See how to do a samba. I've been jamming to classic rock. Yeah. Find something that makes you happy and build a little playlist of songs that make you happy. So here we go. Let's let's do the so long dust samba. Cause right now we've got allergies coming up. It's time. Get out those dusters! You can do all kinds of dances, hip hop or ballet. I will tell you a dance that you can learn today. You don't need some fancy clothes, need some fancy moves. All you need is a fantastic to hit some of you. So, so long, the summer. is that i love it i love it i love it well y'all we blessed our home and we talked a little bit about depression i've been depressed twice in my life i mean really almost catatonic sitting in a chair not moving all day long and the last time i got a little depressed i felt it coming on it's sort of like when i i can tell when i'm getting ready to faint things start closing in on me well, that's how it is when I'm, I'm getting depressed. I just kind of shut down. And from the first time I got depressed, 
they sort of taught me how to get out of it. And yeah, I ended up having to go on medication, but that's okay. That's okay. Because sometimes we need medication to get us over a hump. And that's what I did. But let's get out in a sunbeam today. Let's go for a walk. Go for a walk. Uh, if, you're, if you're in a rural area, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're going to be in a stairwell to get down from your apartment into the street, you may need to wear a mask to protect others. And let's get out into a sunbeam. Let's enjoy the outside because the walls are make you feel make you feel like things are closing in so take some time today to take care of you to take care of you it is important that you do that because you're trying to take care of the whole family so let's get this done start thinking about what's for dinner let's think about what's for dinner and let's take care of our family, but we got we to gotta put our oxygen mask on first. And when you're feeling yourself fall into this depression, remember, the whole world is in on this. It's not just you and your house. It's everybody. And be thankful. Yeah, we're all in the same boat together. We've all got the same 24 hours in a day. But let's be thankful. We're not on a ship somewhere stuck out at sea and we can't get home. That's what happened to my sister-in-law. That's what happened to a bunch of pace, a uh, bunch of um, passengers on two ships, a three or four. I don't know, it was several of them. So, folks, let's take care of ourselves. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's get some sun in our lives because that's the best vitamin D. If you have vitamin D supplements, you may want to. Get your supplements in you. I take um, my super duper vitamin C twice a week now to stay strong. And let's turn off the TVs. Quit listening to the talking heads and let's watch something fun. Let's listen to wonderful music. Let's take care of ourselves. My refrigerator is cleaned out. My freezer is reorganized so I can find everything. Next Sunday is Easter Sunday. We may not be able to go to church service, but guess what? Guess what? There's a lot of church services online. And my friend Justin's mother-in-law, Carolyn Parent, wants us at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning to get out on our front porches and sing Amazing Grace. Sing Amazing Grace. So let's stay focused on what this, let's stay focused on what this week is all about. Yep. Stay focused on that. Let's get our heads in this and let's not give in to depression. You hear me? And I'm going to end this show with a one, another wonderful song. Let me find it because we need this right now. There it is. It's Eric Dodge singing Why Not Today. And it always makes me cry, but it's happy tears. Join me and sing along with Eric. <laughs> I've been waiting for just the right Right now's the moment to start living the life of my dreams. I was hoping some magical moment would come rescue me. But it hit me today. There's no better time to begin. This day I've been given. It's my day to start living, so I'm jumping in. Why not today while the sun is shining? Today while I know I can. The past is behind me, tomorrow can't find me. Till I live today. So why not today while my heart is ready? 
Wow. That was good. Good. It was, it was a great show. Even if I do say so myself, because the music makes it all better. It really does. I love you all. I'll see you at 3 o'clock. Bring your tea. And we're going to talk about the hot melt sprint. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I'll talk to you later.